So how do I figure out or measure when people are super long or super short? And as a futures trader, the data that I like to use a lot is the commitment of traders data, because this is released every week and it shows where people are positioned in the futures markets, right? So I use that extensively. And, and what I do is I take the commitments of traders data and I turn it into an oscillator and it becomes obviously an overbought or oversold oscillator. So if it's like 95 or above on my oscillator, it's indicating to me that people are way too long. And if it's five or below, it's indicating to me that people are way too short. So when it hits those levels, I am looking to, you know, buy it when they're too short or, or, or sell it when they're too long. And clearly the commitment of traders data is not perfect. Just like any data set is not perfect. It doesn't work all the time, you know, and just as an example, like my trades historically are profitable less than 40% of the time, which means that I'm wrong over 60% of the time. All right. But I lose one unit when I'm wrong and I make somewhere around three and a half, somewhere between three and a half to four units when I'm right. So if I can lose one, make three and a half, lose one, lose one, make three and a half, lose one, lose one, make three and a half. Then over time, my account grows. And I think that's a very important concept. People are looking to be right a lot. I'm looking at risk reward, right? This is the 10 year notes. And if you look again, this is the commitments of traders report. The red shows the commercial traders. The yellow shows what they call small speculators and the blue shows large speculators. And I am looking to be at the market turns when large and small speculators are super short and therefore commercials are super long. I'm looking to get long.